kids, today I'm going to read you a story about the tale of Squirrel's Secret. Squirrel was excited. She hopped and skipped and twist her tail, bushy tail with excitement. She had a secret and she had to share with it someone. The very first someone she saw was Rabbit. Rabbit was busy looking for the greenest tail patches of grass. So she took a quick look at Squirrel and carried on with her search. Squirrel lowered her voice and whispered, Don't tell anyone, but I'm having a big party with yummy food Funny hats. Oh, really? Mumbled the rabbit, who was who was far more interested in her delicious crust. She wasn't listening properly to Squirrel at all. So when Rabbit spot her friend Mole, who was busy digging, she she had somewhere rather strange new news in the tailored tones. Rabbit whispered in Mole's victory ear. Don't tell anyone, but Squirrel's having a party. She's she's inviting lots of stray cats. Hmm, I see, muttered Mole. He inspected his di- newly diggity hole. He wasn't paying a- much attention to Rabbit. Later, Mole's Bite his friend Fox was fixing in the fall sun and decided to to, t- to tell him the news he scampered over and said Don't tell anyone but Squirrel's having a picnic and she's making pies for all the rats. Zzz, whatever snored Fox Lazy. He was he was he was far more interested in catching the last rays of the sunshine, and had only half heard Mole's news. As tur- as day turned to dusk, Fox saw his friend Owl perching in an oak tree waiting for the moon to appear. May I as well tell him the news, thought Fox, who was more awake by now. So he walked over to Owl and quietly called up to him. Don't tell anyone but squirrels having a picnic and she's going to wear her fancy pants. Well, there's a thing, hooted Owl, paying more attention to the moon, what to Fox was saying. Later, as down was breaking Owl's spot, her friend Deer, he was busy picking his diff away carefully. Hunter grows looking for tasty fall berries. Come here, Deer, called Owl softly. And as Deer half turned to him, he lowered his voice and said, Don't tell anyone, but Squirrel has has a pink stick to tap with. Then she learns how to was when she learned how to dance. Deer stopped for a second and looked up and surprised. Then he turned to the partly juicy crop of blackberries. He had a quiet thought caught everything that Owl had said. That afternoon, 
deer bumped into his friend Mouse, who was scaring around squirreling. in squirreling around the in the leaves. Deer was very busy eating the berry that deer had dropped. Owl told me the strangest thing deer mumbled. Don't tell anyone. Squirrel's wearing a lipstick and she's going to eat all of her um and nuts. Ants. Ants? Yeah. Mouse was very hungry. Indeed, he was carefully clearing what Certainly. Centrally wasn't in the mood for paying much attention to wooden chips. But when Mouse heard his friend Woodpecker rat a tat tatting on an old oak tree, he thought he had better pass on the news. If you can spare a minute, he shout to make himself heard above Woodpecker's noise. Woodpecker looked down and Mouse continued at the top of his little voice. Don't tell anyone, but Squirrel's buying a boat ticket to sail to the sea to a sunny Ventress. To sunny France. France. But Woodpecker hadn't in lately stopped a rat a tat tatting, so the message he thought the message. The message the message he thought he heard uh, was quite different. What really squirrel won a prize? A lucky chance, explained Woodpecker loudly. Squirrel had been busy knitting her own business, but when she heard Woodpecker's news, she jumped up. Stop! Listen, you got it wrong, she called it frustrated. At that creatures stopped what they were doing and looked up. It's not true, cried Squirrel. What? You haven't had a lucky chance, asked Woodpecker. No, I'm not afraid, replied, replied Squirrel. Aren't you in in Coral Mouse? No, no, not ever, Squirrel. De declared. But what about wearing lipstick and going to eat with your aunts? Trying, dear, absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely not, cried Squirrel. So no dancing with a pink stick, then. He did hesitated. Hesitated owl. My goodness, no, sighed squirrel impatiently. 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 You. Do you? Do you, do you have. Do you even, even have uh, any fancy pants? asked Fox nervously. Humpa, no. Humph. Humph, no. Squirrel spluttered. And baking pies for rats isn't your thing, Mudmore. Not a mil not in a million years, wild squirrel. Oh. And are you not having a party with stray cats? Rabbit whispered. No, no, no. Squirrel groaned. But what is gonna happen? That I'm having a big party with yummy food and funny hats, and you are all invited. The next day, everyone gathered gathered in the woodland clearing for Squirrel's big party, and they and they all wore funny hats, hat, hat, and had the best time ever. Well, and bye bye.